Hey everyone, it's Sean here, your guide to Warcraft, and today I'm going to be showing you how to craft the Mecha Mogul Mark II, the new engineering mount in BFA, as an engineer. Now, this is a very cool mount, and honestly, one of the most interesting ones to craft, probably since the chopper back in Raft, to be honest. Now, it all starts in the Motherload or Mythic, or Mythic Plus. Now, you need to loot the schematic in order to craft it. And the good thing about it dropping on Mythic Plus as well is that it makes this repeatable so you're not locked out to just one run a week. You can do this as many times as you need. Took me several goes in order to get the recipe. Sadly though, you cannot learn this until you hit Engineering Skill 150 in BFA. Now along the way, you also want to craft your goggles. These are the Azerite 340 goggles that you can make. Now try and time it so that you get it crafted you know while leveling up to 150 so that you're not wasting the skill at the end so you want to get to 150 engineering so you can learn the recipe that will then give you a list of all the materials needed for crafting this mount and a lot of things are very unusual they're not the typical materials you would see in this expansion i do have a full list down in the description below if there's any that you're unsure of but the next thing you need to do is go back to those goggles you crafted because like any azurite piece they have traits and these traits are very important you need to have your heart of azeroth leveled up enough so that you can get the free wheels of this trait done don't care about the middle one the item levels are relevant you need to unlock the free traits doesn't matter which ones you pick because when you pick the first and the third one it will raise your skill in either cold tiran or zandalari engineering by a certain amount Overall, once you've got three tiers of the rings unlocked, this will raise your, your engineering by an extra 75. So you'll have 150 base engineering plus 75. So you'll have, basically, you'll have 225 engineering. Once you've done that, you want to head back into the mother load with your goggles equipped. Now, not that far into the dungeon, you'll be looking for Dr. Boom. He's just in here. As you enter the dungeon, before the first boss, you'll find a big building. And right at the back will be Dr. Boom. He will only interact with engineers. So, you want to talk to him and you need to buy this item here for 30,000 gold. This is the barely stable Azerite reactor. Once you've done that, you need to then be deconstructing all of the engineering themed mobs inside the dungeon. So, all of these peacekeepers, all the drill bots, all the red war bots at the end, you need to deconstruct all of them as an engineer. Now, you can only do this when everyone in your party loots the mob. So, if you're doing this with pugs, can be a bit of a pain. I did this with a stream group, so apologies for the overlay there. But it just ensured that I knew I was going to be able to scrap all the mobs. And so when you scrap these mobs, you have a chance to loot some Azerite Forge Protection Plating, some Crush Resistant Stabilizers, or the Blast Fired Electronic Servo Motors. Sometimes you can get two at once, other times you'll get none at all. It's a bit of RNG, but the Servo Motor is definitely the hardest. Next up, you're going to move on to a bit further into the dungeon to the R&D area. You want to kill the Alchemists and the Masterminds, both of which have a chance to drop you this potion. This potion will increase your engineering skill by another 30 points for 2 minutes. So you want to save that, go to the very last boss of the dungeon again. Yeah, we need another item from the last boss. Where it's a bit of a, day, <laughs> a bit of deja vu here. So kill him. Before you actually kill the boss, make sure to pop the potion that I just talked about when you kill the boss. You will loot him and you have a chance to loot the remote activation device. Apparently not very rare if you do this correctly. People seem to get this a lot on their first attempt. But the big grind of the dungeon will be getting the 20 servo motors. I actually ended on 106 Azerite Forge protection plating. 72 stabilizers but only 20 servo motors that I needed to craft the mount. Maybe took me from the start trying to get the recipe to the end where I got all the servo motors it probably took me around 30 runs of the mother load 30 full runs of this dungeon to craft this but big shout out to everyone on my stream everyone that I know personally that helped me out with this this was a massive undertaking and quite honestly an awesome but hard grind to get a mount it is something that I have not been this fulfilled in getting a mount especially with crafting since Wrath of the Lich King crafting my very first mech engineer's chopper Back in 2008, 2009, that was that was a long time ago, but something which has not been replicated till this. This might be the greatest engineering themed creation in the game, but just stick out the grinder, you will get it eventually. But that's all for this video, thank you very much for watching. All my links and the recipe list will be in the description down below. Be sure to subscribe for some more guides and videos, I'll see you next time.